Do you read detective stories? If you do, you definitely have read Feluda stories or Sherlock Holmes stories. When you read such stories, do you also feel like becoming a detective? Do you imagine yourself holding a magnifying glass searching for clues at a crime scene? If you do, you are just like Maya and Nishad, the two protagonists of the story, expert detectives. The story Expert Detectives is actually an excerpt from the novel The Broken Flute by Sharda Divedi. The story is about a 10-year-old girl called Maya, who is also the narrator here, and her 7-year-old brother Nishad. Nishad is the seventh note on the musical scale, so he is also nicknamed Seven. Like other children of their age, they are also very imaginative. Maya thinks herself to be an expert detective. She has read a lot of detective storybooks and this idea of her being an expert detective has somehow got embedded in her mind. She considers her brother to be her assistant because every great detective has an assistant. Now what is the point of becoming a detective if you don't have a case in hand? Being unknown to the world, they have to get their own case solve it and get noticed by the world. She planned to catch a crook and become famous. Now getting a crook and proving him to be a criminal is not an easy job. But they were lucky. They got a perfect subject who could be the center of their investigation. It was Mr. Nath, a patient who was being treated by their mother who was a doctor. Mr. Nath lived near their mother's clinic at Girgaum at an apartment building called Shankar House. Mr. Nath was not a pleasant looking man and Maya thought him to be an escaped criminal who had lots of money stashed somewhere in his room. According to her, Mr. Nath had to be a criminal because he had a scar on his face that he must have got during a police shootout. When Nishad pointed out that that scar was actually a burn mark, Maya had another theory ready. She said that Mr. Nath most probably was hiding in a house and to make him come out, the police had set the house on fire and that was when he got that scar. Nishad was still doubtful. Nishad was rather sympathetic towards Mr. Nath. He thought that Mr. Nath was actually starving. On one occasion, Nishad went to their mother's clinic alone and went to meet Mr. Nath there. He thrust a bar of chocolate in his hand. He didn't get a chance to see the inside of his room as he was not invited in. However, Nishad talked to Ramesh who worked at the restaurant from where Mr. Nath used to order his meals. And it was Ramesh who used to deliver the order to him. Mr. Nath used to order the same meal consisting two chapatis, dal, and a vegetable twice every day. He used to take two cups of tea too. However, he was visited by a stranger every Sunday. This man was tall, fair, stout, and wore spectacles. He was fond of talking, unlike Mr. Nath. Though their school was to open after the summer holidays, it couldn't due to heavy rains, and Maya thought about using the time productively. She prepared a note on Mr. Nath, noting down all facts they had figured out about the man. The note was titled, Catching a Crook, Expert Detectives, Nishad and Maya Pandit, by appointment to the whole world. Maya noted down several facts about Mr. Nath, like his first name was unknown to them, he would not socialize much, other tenants of Shankar house considered him mad, strange and unfriendly, he wouldn't receive any letters, he would not work, still paid for his meals in cash and also paid tips. He had no visitors except for the Sunday visitor who could be his accomplice. Though Nishad had been cooperating with Maya in her investigation, he started showing doubts. He argued with Maya and said that Mr. Nath could not be a crook and that he was just a lonely man who needed company. 
He said it was unfair to call him a crook. He even showed interests to become his friend. Maya tried to dissuade him, saying that the police might catch him too. Nishad simply glared at her and walked away. The story perfectly presents the characteristics and temperaments of children of certain age groups. While Maya is highly imaginative and in her enthusiasm is headstrong to prove a Mr. Nath guilty of some imaginary crime, Nishad is simply curious about the man and is willing to become his friend to give him company and know him better. Go through the entire story carefully and try to figure out whether you find your likeness in Maya or Nishad. You may also read the source novel which is a wonderful story. That's all for today. Thank you.